Yo, so if you're new to the channel, respect the grind and subscribe right now. All right, so how's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all doing great. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top three CPUs that, in my opinion, are worth their price and the best budget gaming CPUs you can get on the market right now. And I'm also going to be talking about the best GPUs to pair with and some gaming benchmarks of the CPU GPU combo. And I'll leave a link to the full gameplay and test down in the description to each CPU GPU combo. First up, we're looking at the Ryzen 5 60. 1600 AF. Now you know this CPU is for 85 bucks and it's a 6 cores 12 thread CPU that's equivalent to a Ryzen 5 2600. It's essentially the same thing. And in my opinion, the best GPU to pair it with it is the GTX 1650 Super 4 gigabyte because when you go higher and you want to play games at high frames per second, you know, I, you'll get some CPU bottleneck because the IPC is not that strong. But that combo will play a game like Fortnite, for example, at over 144 frame rates. We're looking at 160, 170, and COD Warzone at 10 low settings you'll be playing the game at around 80 to 90 frames per second and red dead redemption at 1080p medium settings you are going to get the frame is stable so for around 260 dollars for that cpu gpu combo it's a great steal if you are on a budget now if you are okay spending more money to get that 240 frame rate experience in some games like a game like fortnite for example you are going to look at the ryzen 3 3300x which is yet to release and a gdx 1660 super now this is the best alternative to the i5 9400F. It's an 8 threaded CPU, while the 9400F is a 6 screws, 6 threads. So, technically, that one has more threads than the i5. And the IPC is a very strong IPC. So, imagine you're getting a KB Lake i7 7700K running at its stock settings with a boost to 4.5 gigahertz, but with the latest and greatest IPC gains. And in my opinion, the best GPU you can pair it with is the GDX 1660 Super. For around 230 to 240 bucks for that GPU, this is the best price performance GPU you can get on the market right now. The RX 5600 XT isn't anywhere for a good price right now, but again, it will be a good GPU to pair with it also. But in my opinion, I find the GDX 1660 Super the best, like will give you the best results. Like for example, a game like Fortnite, you're gonna be playing at around 240 frames per second, not that stable, but you're there. And you know, Call of Duty Warzone, you're finally get, be able to reach 120 frames. But for a game like Red Dead Redemption 2, which is a GPU intensive game, you're gonna be playing at 1080p 60 frames per second and you can get that xbox x uh, you know graphical preset and still get uh 60 fps now the final cpu gpu combo and anything over that you're gonna be losing the value for the money in my opinion is the ryzen 5 3600 and an rtx 2070 or a 2070 super now you can also get with an rx 57 or a 5700 xt i mean this place is very competitive but i like the rtx 2070 super because you get that ray tracing technology and the nvidia invink encoder if you are going to stream or do anything like that but this is in my opinion like the i got cpu gpu combo in the budget gaming pc area i mean you can get a gaming pc with this cpu gpu combo for around a thousand bucks and you can check out my video and playing games like fortnite around 350 frames per second you know call of duty warzone you're gonna get around 180 fps as an average again links to the gameplay will be down in the description and red dead redemption you are going to easily play at 1440p high graphical preset and still get 60 frames per second now the only reason i didn't go with anything that has to do with intel because the next gen intel cpus are about to release like in a month or two and the previous gen motherboards are not compatible with the newer gen yet to release one so yeah there is no reason to go for a cpu like a 9900k 9700k any of these cpus is a waste of money because we will see a better ipc in the next gen cpus you know and maybe that 9900ks that no one could get it will be the next mainstream processor for gaming on the 10th gen intel lineup so with that said guys let me know what do you think down in the comments below for that really quick video and if you like that video press on that like button and pressing on that like button actually makes more people watch so i would appreciate it a lot and subscribe of course if you want to see more uh, really cool content and i'll see you in the next one peace